In Egg Boy news. Hey. Oh. Submitted by Over Easy, please. Oh yeah. I like Over Medium. I like really? Poached. Me too. Give it to me poached. Oh, I love poached. A 17-year-old has gone viral for egging a politician. Oh, oh I saw this shit. I didn't Wait, see is this it. the one where that fool turned around and started slapping the shit yeah. out of him? Yeah. I did not see this. Yes. We gotta watch. This is tight. Funniest videos I've ever This makes me want to vote for this politician immediately because he's a real ass. Well, you don't want to vote for him because the reason why people hate him before this yeah. is he said some stupid ass shit from the massacre that happened in... Um, in New Zealand. I take back yeah. everything I just said. <laughs> we apologize from this yeah, side yeah. of uh, the channel. Redacted. You know, you know, you know Redacted. that, you know that, like that shooting that happened at the mosque in New yeah. Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, that fool used it as an opportunity to push anti-Muslim oh, propaganda. No. Oh. Yeah. So he's a far right uh, Australian, head. and he ended up saying, "Does anyone still dispute the link between Muslim immigration and violence?" Oh Lord. Wow. Oh. But it was a white guy that shot up the mosque. White guy that was like all about like you know white. What a fucking oh idiot! God. Yeah, he was the one that shot all these people and killed. I think it was fifty what people. What an idiot! Yeah, 50 people died, including some children too, at two mosques in um, New Zealand. New Zealand. Sorry, I almost said Australia. Yeah, and so this kid, the seventeen-year-old kid, he went up to him during like a press conference type of thing and did this. Awesome. Basically, this guy's kind of excusing the, the the mass shooter, saying like, "Oh yeah, if Muslims weren't you know terrorists in the first place and doing all this stuff, it wouldn't cause so much paranoia, and these poor guys had to do what they had to do." Like that's basically what he's saying. Oh my God! Yikes! What a loser! What a loser! Loser! What a loser! Okay, a fucking loser! <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, shit. You know why this video cracked me the fuck up? Hold on. Get this the is the cops. aftermath of his supporters, like, get the cops. holding him huh? in a chokehold. Huh? Huh? Holy fuck. Oh, you are nothing but a waste human fucking thing. Now, I'm letting go. Oh, their accents are so cool, though. That choke sucks. He's wide awake. Yeah. They fucking suck at choke. That choke sucks. He's wide awake. Yeah. They fucking suck it's at chunking. on his throat. You gotta fucking go in here you in the carotid artery. Yeah, you gotta sink it in all the way, and then you gotta push his head down. You gave him a neck support pillow like at the, it's the airport and shit. That fool was wide awake, dude. The funniest thing was is that I don't think that kid realized as he was still recording. I was like, you're getting your ass kicked in real life. So he's, like, <laughs> he's still holding it like. Yeah, he's still looking through the through the fucking screen of his phone. I was like, no, you're getting punched like, in real life. Put the phone down. Right. I was like, defend yourself. He's trying to swipe the punch away. <laughs> no, no, no. Different program. Different program. Oh no. Different filter. That's why that made me laugh because he was still looking into right. the phone. Totally. I'm like, the Oh, shit. He probably didn't even expect to get slapped like yeah. that. Well, that was, yeah, quick. But he went pretty hard with that egg smack. Like, that must have hurt. That went crack. The eggs? Yeah. The egg yeah. I've been smacked on the head with an egg. He, so, Egg Boy, his name, his real name is Will. He has gotten support from all over the world saying, like, hell yeah, like, thank you so much, especially for Muslims. They're like, thank you for having our backs and, like, you know. That's cool fighting. and all, but that's still fucking rude. Like, they're two rude ass people doing yeah. rude ass things. Yeah. Like, sure. They're both. Yeah, I don't so, think, like. That wasn't a good call. I mean, people, people probably would disagree with this just because it's coming from a very emotional standpoint. Um, but what does that do? Nothing. No, it doesn't do anything. No. Because we always make jokes about it. It's, it's petty. Like, it's more like, ha, we got him. Yeah, it's very... Not what happened. What changed? Yeah. Nothing. He just had to take a bath or a shower, I mean. But it's right. like if he... Well, because that guy acted the way that he did, can he get in trouble now? Because he, he ended up... Well, violently slapping a kid. Yeah, right. No. Over so, a protest. That was because that that happens all all the time. Like like people wearing fucking fur coats and you put paint on them. Yeah. You egg politicians. Like that shit happens all I the time. I think it would be different if it was right. the egg was just thrown, but he slapped them upside the head too. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that's you where it becomes. You smashed that egg. And he's seventeen. Uh, seventeen. He slapped the minor. So they did say that they are investigating this from both sides. What's there to investigate? There's a video. He got slapped upside his head and he got slapped. Yeah. I'm just telling you what they report. I like that. They need to get the fucking. I agree. I'm like, what else do they need? They need to get MI6 on this, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so that's why they're saying that they're going to investigate, I guess, to see if there's any repercussions that come after it yeah. to either party. So someone started a GoFundMe for Egg Boy. And it was for his legal fees and to buy more eggs. Bless you. <laughs> We're trying to hold it. What happened? 
Damn it. You need tissue? Oh, shit. You should have just let it go. <laughs> she fucking exploded right there. Oh, no. fuck. I didn't want to interrupt she you. Oh, thank you. Just do what everybody else does and just yeah, sneeze in her face. Just interrupt me. It's okay. A chew, like literally. Okay. Yeah. All in her face. But, uh, but yeah, so the GoFundMe, they raised, as of right now, $78,000. Oh! That's dope. Out of a $50,000 goal, and they set that goal because, like, because there were 50 people that the, they were victims. And also, maybe it's because of, well, I'm not even old, but the weird part about it was the kid, the, the thing that takes away from it for me is the fact that he had to record it. Yeah. And then he yeah. had to do the it wasn't yeah. an honest, It wasn't an honest act. He was right. doing it to record. It was definitely yeah. for that. It was it was a stunt. And yeah. so that's the part where it takes away from the kid a little bit. Mm. If he came up and he was just like, man, fuck this guy, bop. But instead, as he's getting smacked in the face, he's still like, I gotta record this. Right. So it seems, it seems very disingenuous to me. Yeah. You know? I get that. But yeah. maybe I'm just being a hater. I don't know. But like, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, w I would record it just for my protection too. True. Oh. So, and then as a disguise. Like and then at 17, reporter. I'm trying to show all my friends after. Yeah, yeah exactly. I did that. that. Could be it too. I don't know. Who knows? But who's politically active active at 17 when we were young? True. No one gave a fuck. I know. Well, a lot of kids are that's nowadays. So, cool. right? so that's, I, I kind of like that. Because that means that, you know, they're going to be more involved in the future. Even if right now, you know, they're impressionable and whatever they're doing is all on emotions. So here's a mural that someone painted of him. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, I don't know if it's that big of a deal. This had to be in it, though. The oh, phone had to be in it. Like he's a hero? Egg is it the world famous egg, though? <laughs> oh my god, that would be hilarious. That's true. And then Ben Simmons wrote Egg Boy on his shoes. Who's that? Ben Simmons, he's a basketball player. Uh, he's wearing NBA socks. Oh, yeah, right. it is. NBA oh, so he's, he might be like an Aussie in the NBA or whatever? Or he could just be a regular basketball player. Wearing NBA socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's in the NBA. <laughs> With no ties to Australia. He's an Australian professional basketball player for Philadelphia 76ers. So he's oh. an Australian playing in America. Oh. Yeah. That's tight. Yeah, I don't know. Like if it like it feels weird. Like he's like I don't know. They they they're treating like this kid like he's some kind of martyr. Well, that's because of what was going on, right? So like here's everyone mourning, and then this fucker out of nowhere exploits that situation for his own political gain, but he does it in a way that also separates the whites from the minorities in New Zealand. So there's a lot of people that are like, we're just trying to fucking come together right now. Yeah. And here's this fucker doing this. Why are you ruining the party right now? And he's getting publicity for it. So this is like, everybody's feeling this petty, like I wanna fuck this guy up. Here's this kid that expresses that. And he's and white. And he's white. That, which is a yeah. big thing where yeah. it's like, hey, we don't rally with these guys. Yeah. yeah. And I think I think that that's the whole emotional part of it, right? If you look at it where we're also in the States too, where it doesn't mean anything to us, like like the way that it means to them. So when, when we're looking at it, we're looking at it from a distance. And I think the when you're in it, it probably feels much better. Well, I'm saying it from a point, like I understand all that stuff. I'm just trying to understand like, would I feel the same way if somebody smashed an egg upside of Trump's head? And I would have been like, fuck yeah. I don't know. Well, that's, you know. It's not like saying Trump, it's like saying the wizard of the KKK. Mm. Cause if you read his statement, you'll be like, this is some fucked up shit. Like, why would you do that? And he's a politician there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cause he's bas basically, to sum it up, he was saying that, um, he was he was he was saying Muslims commit terrorist crimes all the time in Western countries or they whatever and then he's like this is the nature of them and their religion and they are the ones that caused um, the paranoia in our people so that's why these guys are are doing this. But I relate that to Trump oh, yeah. because he said Mexican people were a bunch of rapists and thieves. Well, you got to read the statement too. Yeah. I did because read the well, I did read the statement. It's not the same as Trump though at all. I'm saying I could understand the sentiment because like, but I'm trying to just relate to that in our sense. So it's like. Trump has said something similar to that about Mexican people being rapists and thieves, and that's the reason why people are getting raped and murdered here. It's I see. because of Mexican people. Yeah, yeah. So he's doing a similar statement in that. So I'm trying to see in my well, position. Can you of, can you see a bunch of liberals laughing and being happy if someone puts an egg on Trump's head? Well, I'm trying to see from my position if well if I would be happy if somebody. Oh, did if that you would, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, so and that's like, different. Yeah, for yeah, me, yeah, I feel yeah. like would I be happy about it? I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't say definitely not. 
You know, because yeah. I don't really like the dude. But I wonder if, like, if I would also be in that shoe where people are cheering on that kid if mm -hmm. it happened to Trump. Is what I'm saying. Like, would would I be also doing that too? Hmm. I, I don't think none of us would, because we're not that deep into other people's oh, yeah. ideas. And then, like, when things happen too, I think we're all kind of jaded because we see it so much. Also, yeah. I, I, I yeah. can also see where David's coming from, because if this guy is as like heinous and and scandalous as he is. The egg isn't the equivalent strike back. It's like if he got hit by a bus, then it's like, fuck yeah, that motherfucker <laughs> got hit by a bus. Yeah. But it's almost like this guy said the fucking craziest shit in the world, and it's just a little like bird shit. Yeah. So to me, it's not, I think like for me, it was, it's not as satisfying. It's it, not, even if yeah. I was a liberal, and like let's say I was a liberal Mexican dude, and Trump said hella shit about Mexicans, and he only got an egg, mm. I, like I wouldn't feel satisfied, but if he suffocated on under a tortilla, then I'm like, <laughs> fuck yeah, motherfucker, you had it coming to you. <laughs> that's how I feel, and there's also too, it's like that thought about <laughs> of us being like really desensitized now. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like, for them, it's a huge thing. It Maybe is. It's because our media blasts shit so right. much at us. Like, I feel like it's a big deal, but to me, it's not as big as people are making it over there. Maybe it's because over here, we get blasted with it so much, I'm just like scabbed over. Right. right. Exactly. Because it's like, if you're looking at it as what's the big deal, then that's why it's difficult to empathize with the people that f find it satisfying. Yeah. And then when you look at it as petty, that's because it's not good enough. Or if a fucking hawk came and just grabbed his fake hair and pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny too. Or even let's say that kid comes up and he just goes like face to face with the dude and starts breaking this dude down. Right. Then it's like, then it would feel like put that fucking mural up. But when I see an egg, it's like, right. you know. Totally. So that's, I guess like, like the satisfaction. It's a, like it's a pussy move. It's not like a real. Yeah, it seemed really pussy. Like if that kid came up and he just broke this dude down, I'd be like, yo, put that mural up with this kid right now. You know? Yeah, because I get it. It's, it's in reality, it's an ineffective move. But it's just satisfying to the people that Who got want. Hurt. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cause, yeah, it doesn't translate. Like you know that you know the outcome. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So the outcome is he's gonna stay the way he is. It might even separate them even further now. Yeah. He, he doesn't learn a lesson. He just gets humiliated. Mm -hmm. So that's all it is.